my dad and Uncle Zrini uh, were born in Kitsap County, Eagledale, Bainbridge Island, state of Washington. And when they were born, I believe my Uncle Zrini was born in 1923 and my dad in 1924, both my Nana and Dida didn't become naturalized American citizens until 1930. And so they were born on the Indian reservation and dad always said, well, gee, since, you know, mom and dad hadn't been American citizens yet, and we were born to these um, documented aliens that had just come to the United States and they were awaiting citizenship, that they were born on an Indian reservation, hence they must be Native Americans too. And then when I asked them, well, if you were born on an Indian reservation, what tribe would we be? Uh, would we be? And of course, with the wink in their eye and humor, they said, well, of course, son. It's the Red Nose Tribe, <laughs> which was the nickname for people of our ethnicity way, way back. And so on a family vacation to Palm Springs once, we were eating in the Burger King, and the uh, tribal council of the Agua Caliente Mission Band of Indians happened to be at the next table. And so my dad wanted me to go over and ask the chief and explain that story, whether or not there was any credibility of my dad being a Native American. And so, of course, I went over to the table, introduced myself, and uh, they were all very happy to meet. And then I pointed my dad out and waved my dad over, and I asked the question to the chief. And of course, the chief only had to open the door this much, and my dad walked through it. So when I explained the situation to the chief, the chief looked at my dad and says, hmm, you might have a case there. Well, there it went. So from that point you know, forward, we had a bona fide Indian chief telling my dad that he might be right. And uh, that's all my dad ever needed from that point on to, to, to state that, you know, he was a Native American too. <laughs>